multiple of these games. And 3,200 competitors over at EVO from Ultimate, that is insane. Uh, it's true. We're gonna be going, oh wow, we're going right into it. Okay, that was quick. Uh, we got Laid and Jen back on the stream versus Stocktaker and Ralphie. Yeah, no hesitation at all. And Ralphie and Jen, of course, part of the House of 3000 team. These guys sponsor players, really, really talented. Dating back to Smash 4, they were two of the come up kids mm -hmm. from New York, and it's really good to see them continue their success in Ultimate. Stock Taker 69, by the way, one of the biggest sleepers in both Smash 4 and Ultimate. Guy's extremely talented, plays a really weird lineup of Wolf, He's Wii Fit, Villager, and Palutena. Yeah, what if you call like uh, like a multi character specialist? And it's not even mm -hmm. just those characters, he plays other characters solidly too, but problem is he can't go over there fast enough to save Ralphie. Jen gonna sell out that first stock. Yeah, I'd say just on paper, Jen and Laid favored to win this match, but don't sleep on Stocktaker and Ralphie. Their teamwork is actually incredible. I watched their off-stream set against Bochi and Daybreak, and they did wolf forward throw to deep breathing. We fit up smash, killed it like 50%. Just say, don't sleep on deep breathing, uh, yeah. ex except for that. The, the up air gonna take that out. Deep breathing is a DLC move. That uh, uh, We fit while in deep breathing is a very scary character, and Stocktaker knows how to abuse that. It's limit and persona all in one. Oh, good. <laughs> Perry getting him out of dodge, but Kool-Aid co covering the roll away right away. And we're seeing just the incredibly good play from really all the players on screen, but especially the red team. Laid and Jen just looking like a real wall that it's hard to crack through. Wow, the forward smash. So much knockback on that. It's going to be the end of stock taker. Jen, uh, I mean, excuse me, Ralphie has spent most of this match, this entire set, on the corner or on the ledge. Red team has just been keeping them there the entire time. Finally, a point going on the board for green team taking out late stock. There's a fire Kool-Aid option right there with the charge up smash, tacking on so much damage off of a straight hit from Jen. Mm. You see Jen just waiting back for it while Kool-Aid was up front, like, all right, I'm gonna wait for them to try and punish him so I can just run in with like a nair or something. Meanwhile, stock's flying yet again, only this time it was a friendly fire. The Paul Lucina team combo, man, mm -hmm. so dangerous. I think if I had to put uh, some team as the best team in the game, it would be this one. Well, we haven't seen it yet, but back throwing the up smash from Palatina is an amazing confirm, and they really haven't done it so far. Uh, is that, that is something I noticed out of the buzz in Mr. E the last time I saw them uh, teaming. You also have Explosive Flame to Shield Breaker, mm -hmm. which if you have enough coordination with your teammate to pull that off, that can just be such a huge swing. wonder if we'll see the Palutena come out from uh, stock taker at any point in the set. Of course, Wii Fit's really good. They've been rocking Wolf Wii Fit for most of the day. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I don't think we'll see the double Wolf, particularly because the way that they're handling Jen, uh, excuse me, Ralphie, I keep calling him Jen, uh, Ralphie's uh, Wolf right now. It's like, all right, we want to keep somebody with a little bit more survivability and some better recovery options because we cannot keep you on the stage right now. Oh, the falling back air. All right, stock taker on his last stock, like uh, stock dropper right now, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Oh. Laid just waiting in position, trying to block the, the smack of the forward throw. Yeah, catch me off guard too. I did not think that he was going to be able to uh, you know, get out of there fast enough, but a quick recovery from that forward throw there. And, and wow, rising full on there. Was that a whiffed up smash that he caught? That was a whiffed up smash. Yeah. I think that uh, Ralphie was trying to get out of dodge after that up smash, trying to jump away, but Kool-Aid covering pretty much all options he had there, and then you saw Jen on the other side too. He was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Jen going as deep as possible with the back air, with the counter. Neither of them are going to pan out, but they have stocks to play with right now. They can afford to take these risks. This game's all but over for Stocktaker and Ralphie right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, missed the B reverse. I definitely know Laid one to break his shield there. Wow, goes for the Nair. Wow, it put him backwards, but he didn't tech because who would have known that would have hit the wall? Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> like, I definitely anticipated that just to be the game over, but not to be off of a back hit Nair into wall tech. I, I, I'm pretty sure Stocktaker just kind of just kind of let, just let it ride there after that air. I was like, all right, well, but but I mean, we, we take those. That was bizarre, but hey, it worked out. All right, so this next game, I wouldn't be surprised to see a, a, a team switch up, but Ralphie and Stocktaker definitely, you know, they got to work a little bit more on maybe trying to force those two V1s. You saw a lot of times we were trying to go for it, but they really couldn't seal the deal because you had someone like Jen who was lingering around late the entire time just far enough for them to not be able to punish Jen, but Jen to be able to run in the moment that they decided to overcommit. Yeah, it's just been a bloodbath of a Tom Hate so far. Mm -hmm. And the way that Jen and Laid played that game was kind of ridiculous. Oh, we're gonna see Ralphie switch over to Pokemon Trainer and Stock Taker switch over to Wolf. I love that he's rocking the uh, free Rocky tag. It's, it's mm -hmm. super funny. Definitely free ASAP Rocky.
think it's oh, locked up in Sweden okay. or something. Yeah, it, I'm pretty sure it's Sweden. Yeah, that's insane. What was it for? Uh, you know what? I probably can't talk about it on stream. Yeah, you know, whatever we'll, it is. We'll figure it out in uh, the mid air time. But I, I actually like the fact that we see the swap from the two of them. Uh, you know, it's just trying to change things up because the last with the, that last match, it just they couldn't keep that pressure the way they wanted. And when you have that kill power and the zoning ability out of Ivysaur and such, it's going to allow Stock Taker to play up, uh, play up close. Meanwhile, he's not going to be able to play up close at all. He cannot touch the ground yet again. Both of the green team. It, for, there we go. Finally, back throw into the up smash that we were looking for from before. Oh, I like the landing up air pressure there on the back of Charizard's shield. Definitely unfortunate to get stuck with Zard at low percents and dubs, man. It's got a lot of explosive kill power, but you're just so abusable because you're a huge target. So every time that Ralphie responds, he's going to have to either quick change and deal with the first punish that comes, or he's just going to have to play like a freaking yeah, if wizard. You, if you move or sneeze, then there, there's a rising there out of both characters that's just going to cover that entire hitbox. That's where we saw the quick change coming in from Ralphie to get himself off of that Charizard. Ivysaur, on the other hand, just so dangerous in doubles. Got all those Razor Leaf assists that you could <laughs> feed to your partner. And Red Team dangerous in doubles, too. Uh, we, we saw once Wolf change. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one you are. You're not going to be able to touch the ground. Ooh, goes for the roll to forward smash, but just not enough time for that. Oh, and Lade runs right into the explosive flame. Is that a Kool-Aid option? Does I think that count it as might have been a Kool-Aid option. Maybe he was looking for a dash cancel F tilt or something. Yeah, but super F tilt. Oh, using the grab armor from that to not get hit by the Razor Leaf afterwards and just serving him back up to the other side. But another closeout from Ralphie Stock. Ralphie looking at the last stock here, and green team down three to five. It's looking a little bit rough. Yeah, I don't know if this team comp was the play here. Oh, Ralphie going all the way off stage, gonna switch, and yeah, that's gonna be it. Jen sniffing out that third jump. That perfect timing from Jen, too, to wait for the switch after he already utilized the Vine Whip to go for the cancel. It's like, all right, now all I have to do is just punish this afterwards. He has no jumps, he's gone. Okay, let's see if there's any hope for the red team. I'm sorry, for the green team here. Red team's got a lot of hope. Yeah, this might be one of those times where you want to reach over and try and unplug your opponent's controllers because things are just not looking good. Hey, man, you never know. That could be the strat. <laughs> oh, and he's going to catch that. There we go. Nice and easy for Jen and Laid. Man, that was kind of really one-sided. That was looking like some borderline Marth range right there on the edge of that forward smash. That just barely caught Ivysaur on the very edge of that platform there. But she's plump, you know. Wide hitbox for sure. Hurtbox, rather. Mm -hmm. 